Hey there everyone, Hanyu here, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. I'd like to apologize about the last episode. In one moment. Okay. Um, I'd like to apologize about the last episode. I accidentally hit a uh, the, the hotkey that mutes my mic. When I returned from the pause to see if I could adjust the audio, which I had been have been able to since then, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, that being said, uh, sorry. Um, I, I I wish I could fix it, but it's not that easy. I could go back and re-record, but. I'm not sure if you guys would want me to do that. If you do, let me know, and I will. It's not that big of an issue. Um, that being said, let's carry on. Oh, well, that was interesting. Um, let's carry on, shall we? So, picking up where we left off last time, they shined the memory light, or whatever the hell it is, at us, and they're supposed to restore our memories of us being ultimates. Um, so... And now, I guess, uh, well, not I guess, because I, I, I did this part already. Um, it's basically deja vu. You'll see here in a second. Huh? Stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. But thanks to that pain, I went from damaged, from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? Yes. Yeah, this is a classroom, alright, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. And all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Just stay, let, let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Okay then. Suddenly the locker next to mine started sw started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform, in fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, but and when he slowly lifted his head... Please. How rude! Don't freak out at, at, at me like I'm some sort of monster. Ah, sorry. I'm sorry too, okay? I just have no idea what's going on. But all I have, but all the more reason why. But all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh, Gymnopedy. I I have no idea how to properly pronounce that. Number one by Eric Sadi. Sadie. It's a good song. I know that. Because I know the I know the song. It's classical music, and I'm I am a fan. So mean, you humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. 
Although, if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. Okay. I agree, I'm glad... I'm glad I was born uh, with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. Huh? W what are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not mono cubs. We're stu we're the stuffed animals. Psst, mono kid, you get sa you're saying your lines backwards. No stuffed animals, us. The mono cubs, them. Oh jeez, it's even worse now. Huh? Mono cubs. Oh, you've heard of us? Uh, no, of course not. I've never seen t walking, talking stuffed animals. As soon as I said that, these monocub things started looking at each other and... Yay! Yay, it worked! Ooh, had me work for a second. Um. Hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. Alright, now let's tackle each issue one at a time. You're so damn reliable, Monotaro. He's like a 6th grader helping out a 5th grader. Which means we should still keep our expectations reasonable. Well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a school. Oh, this- okay, this place- so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Ultimate, Acap uh, Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Hmm. Ultimate Academy, I've never heard of a school like that. That's right. Of course you haven't. The school was made for you 16 cretins. Huh? 16. That's right. Yeah, there are 16 Ultimates I at this school. Huh? Huh? Ultimates? Well... You know what Ultimates are, right? And the government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Actually. Ultimate basically means you're particularly prodigious in a particular talent. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts, like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? That's right. They even get grant money too, right? Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Students would uh, do anything for the honor of being a chosen Ultimate. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing um. adventure. I don't need the explanation, I already know, because I'm an Ultimate too. That, that means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget any anymore. Aww. Yeah, forgetting about your Ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? Huh? What do you mean, forgetting? Shut up! Shut up! Quit your yapping and get started already. Huh? Get started with what? Why, so. exploring this academy, of well. course. Also, you should introduce yourselves to the other Ultimates. Because you guys are all gonna do an activity together later. Get a rock hard rager. Awesome! I got a Rager right now. Well then. So long! I'll feed her saying goodbye. Shoot. Ah, they left, but I still have so many up and so many questions. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? Uh. No, but I wish it was. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there there are sixteen ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Okay. It, yeah. Well then. I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but. <laughs> What? You're a detective? That's amazing. No. Uh, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. Nice. Ultimate pianist. 
Well, no one calls me the ultimate pianist, usually just piano freak. Okay, you get- Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano This picture's creepy. Home. The eyes, the lack of a nose. I mean, I get she's a baby in the picture, but the, but it's it, it's a very disturbing looking baby picture, if you ask me. I'm sorry. The vacant stare with the pinprick pupils and the la whole lack of a nose thing is very, yeah. There were even times that picture's a lot better. So much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title? And that's way more impressive than me. Ah, don't uh, sell yourself short, Shuichi. No, that's all I'm good for, really. But this is the first, my first time meeting another Ultimate student. And while Ultimates are scattered all over the country, they're difficult to find. Um. Even so, there are 16 Ultimate students gathered here now, but why are everyone, but why is everyone here? Were they kidnapped? Mm. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the Ultimates? Hey. Ah, about that. I don't remember. Huh? Huh? You don't remember? I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Same here. Huh? I can't remember anything, even though I'm trying so hard to remember. That's depressing. Uh, are, is this another simulation, or was that the method that they used to, uh, wipe people's memories? That helmet thing. What happened? Uh, are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, I'm fine. I just got a headache, that's all. But... It can't be a coincidence that we both can't remember. What happened to us? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Oh, we're, we're we're confused. We just need to relax, and we just need to relax as well. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Ravel's Sonatine. That's is that music? I, I don't really know that know much about music. I see. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I sh I'll share that. I'll share it with you. Oh, right. But first, let's look for a way out. If there are other ultimate students here, we should be, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, but Come on. There we go. Come on. Even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants growing around here. And the air is heavy here. The air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy, as if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Well, depends on who you ask. Some people will say most schools tell you it make you feel like that, but... Eh, whatever. Personally, I didn't. I, I I was. I didn't really mind school that much. I liked it, but I didn't like it a lot. But I did, definitely didn't dislike it. But this is just. A, yeah. What makes? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Huh? What's the matter? I just felt I felt something in my in the pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember. 
I found this inside. It's some kind of mini tablet computer? Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt, he felt heavier. The word monopad is written on it. When did I- when, when did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when it booted up like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for, for now. Yeah, I agree. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically a tutorial for the menu. I get it. Report card. Kaede likes piano keys, dislikes bicycles. Shuichi likes novels, dislikes gossip. Yep, alright, we're good. School rules haven't been implemented yet, I guess. Wait a minute, is this a music? Is this the music room? Huh? It won't open. But this room lo does look like it was made for me. Yeah, no. Nah. If they do this every time they show up and leave, that's gonna be very annoying. It's gonna be very annoying. Ah, they're here again. What do you think this place is? Check out all the fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? You stupid! What the hell? Why would you tell them? We were trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. Sorry, I'm sorry. Huh? Now, is her name Mono Fanny or Monophony, which it would be like a like cacophony, which is generally lab noise or something like that, right? Um. Anyway, that being said, huh? What's an ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist's lab, but we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Well, actually... Most of them are still hidden, though. Um... By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... is... Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we'll hustle up to get it all ready. Just wipe your asses and wait! All that remains of a the hell you saying? That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say, hold your horses? Monokid is such a dummy. What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Monodom. So long, farewell, I'll feed her saying goodbye. Sound of music, anybody? Um, I mean, it, it seems like this is going to be a like music-ish themed music-ish music themed uh, game, sort of. I mean, obviously, you have the main character as a musician, so Killer Killing Harmony is, is also the name of the game, which implies a musical theme. Um, Rise and Shiner sign. Oh, I have a feeling that's tied to mu something musical as well, but whatever. Seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey, do you think there really are other rooms for, like this for everyone? Hmm. I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this it was the music room. Uh, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place.
Hey, how you doing? Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Um... Did she not hear me? Okay, then. Hey! Hello! What? She still can't hear me. Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No, No, I don't think that's the case. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. And felt the, her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Poking her doesn't work either, then maybe she's just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, should we cheap poke poke? Huh? Ah, no thanks. <laughs> Just do it, it's so fun. I grabbed his hand to make him poke, poke her other cheek. Hey, I never thought I'd be poked from both, both sides, how unexpected. The innuendo is real. I mean, to be fair, there, there there's, it seems to be a fair amount of innuendo in uh, the whole series as a whole, so... Yeah. Anyway, carrying on. I, I never... Uh, yeah. Ah! I <laughs> see. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Huh? Because she wasn't responding. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. You were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? What? Um, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Oh, but that's... but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Right. Now let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right, right. My favorite Doraemon episode is 53, the one with security cameras and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Oh, my name is Tsumugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Tsumugi. So, you're a cosplayer? I guess. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I look so plain. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I see. I bet it's because you've got people ogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Um. Hey, Day, you sound like a creepy old man. Uh. Normally, I don't like people looking at me like that. Actually. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right! I'd rather wear my outfits myself, with love, than give them to people like that. Mm. Wow, you're pretty intense. Yeah. Makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh, well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. Mm. You're so amazing. You're pretty you're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Hey. Uh, is it alright if I ask you something too? Earlier you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, we should we needed to ask her that. Nice job, Shuichi. It's from that one thing. Ah, that bronze dra dra bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. It almost seems like it's floating, right? No, it doesn't. Uh, doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me, too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? These trees and gra- uh, There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits, and it seems like we're the only people here. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um. Hey, Eddie, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. eh, that frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. <laughs> this again? <laughs> I'm was I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good to, good and dandy. <laughs> You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Mm -hmm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know. It's better to just be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. Yeah, so let's try to find a way out. 
tamed friends friendship fragment. What is this? Hmm. It looks like a dragon statue. Well, no shit, Sherlock, but why is there a dragon statue in the school hallway? No. I, I have no idea. Hmm, maybe it's part of the school's official art collection or something? Uh, Still no idea. It is in the same order that I did it in last time. <laughs> hey! Wait for me. Please stop. Don't come any closer. The boy in that boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Don't come any closer. <laughs> come on, wait up. Let me touch your body a little. I've never I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What? A robot? What is it? What is it? Are you another robophobe? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I'll see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Uh, are you one of the mono cubs? Please stop. Don't compare me to those toys. I'm not just any robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Alright, Kibo. Um. Ultimate robot? Hmm. That's not fair! You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Oh, um, go ahead. I'm Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. See, I'm noticing a, a progression between each game. Like, for instance, you had the ultimate programmer in the first game, you had the ultimate mechanic in the second game, and now you have the ultimate robot in the third game, and for the ultimate supreme leader, I guess you could probably progress either from uh, the ultimate bike gang leader to the ultimate Yakuza leader, and then to the ultimate supreme leader. Or even, if you want to go the alternate route, it could be, um, the ultimate hall monitor? Ultimate student council president, whatever you want to call him. Um, the ultimate princess, and then the ultimate supreme leader. A robot and supreme leader? Neither of them, them make any sense. By the way. I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. How rude! My breath does not smell like gasoline, I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. Right? Of course you don't think it's fun think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me! I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um... Perhaps... Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. Huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed me along with a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. Which we've seen, actually, previously in the series with the adaptive AI that the Ultimate Programmer made in the first game. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey, hey do robots have dicks? Hey! Please don't ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. 
Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called and to be called the ultimate robot. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Ah. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. Huh? What? Um. I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over ten thousand members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil secret organization. Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. Huh? Huh? Oh, so you were so you were lying just now? Okay, well, see that now. This could be either an evolution of the uh, ultimate imposter talent or something else. I'm very curious about that because it seems like there's a progression going on here with each each new game. You'll notice there's another character that I'm going to that's going to be introduced not that yet, not this episode though, unfortunately, since we're nearing the end. Who uh, doesn't remember what their talent is? And if you guys remember, that's happened in both the previous games as well. So you were lying just now. True. Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil or evil secret organization. That part was true. So you were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey. Ah, by the way, what's the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret org organization. But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Please. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, right? Just leave him alone. Everything he's been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because you're because robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> Grr. Are you oh, you mad? And are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I can't. I don't have that function. Aw oh, man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous, mischievous little kid. Yeah, this is no time to be joking around unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Nice. Alright, and that's going to be the end of this episode, so if you enjoyed it, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. Until next time, everybody. Have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye.